Hey YouTube, Little Red Homestead here again. We're out in the garden today. Give you guys a quick, quick look at what we're up against. Uh, we've got a very small space and a lot of, a lot of plants. A lot of tractor. It's good stuff. I mean, it's a good way to. It's a good problem to have. So what I'm doing here is. These guys are cucumbers, and I'm just trying to maximize the amount of cucumbers in this bed. It's going to be uh, intensely managed throughout the year with uh, natural fertilizers and compost tea and stuff, so I'm not terribly worried about nutrients um, getting enough to the plants, but I want to make sure that they're uh, they're in there in a range, so they're not going to be a, uh, a menace to the tractor path here. I think they're gonna be okay like that. So let me get these guys in the ground and then I'll be back. So I wanted to take a look here at the bottom of this plant. Even though they're in a uh, container that's much larger than the plants themselves, they're still, you see here on the edge, they're still itching to get out. They are, uh, they're ready to go in the ground. So we'll just, just make a small hole. There's nothing special about planting them. And I've given them about a foot in between the plants and the, the, the seed package. Let me set this guy down so he doesn't get confused and start growing into the ground. Not that, that would happen, but you know, stranger things can happen. And then, you know, and then just give it a little, a little light pat around the edges so it doesn't erode the, the soil around the edges. Um, my apologies for any obnoxious motors that go by. We have a lot of uh, a lot of trucks and motorcycles that go by, but so the, these guys can be planted closer together. But it's this, the trick is in how you manage the manage the soil. We've got fairly sandy soil this year. This is a new bed; it hasn't really been hit with a lot of compost. Um, but plan to put a lot of uh, a lot of nutrients down in here, and that's that's about it for this bed. So you see what I've done, this, this bed was chopped in early in the year as soon as the soil was workable and it got a, a healthy dose of our compost that we made right here on the homestead. And what I'm doing is just uh, going down through it again and just giving it another really good chop just to bring the soil back to more of a, um, more of a fluffy state. And I'm going to come through and rake, rake it flat nice and neat and then we'll plant so another nice thing you see it's all it's all raked flat all the high points are out it's a level now relatively level um, another nice thing if you haven't switched to a burlap for your garden paths it's not a bad idea to think about it it does a couple of things it blocks the weeds one it also holds water like this stuff it rained two days ago and this is still damp and you know that's just going to fall down in and be held underneath so the sun doesn't get down the sun doesn't get down past here into last year's layer the other added benefit is when you rake or weed all this nice organic matter that kind of comes off guess what you make like we're three or four sweep it under the rug bada boom your room's clean and that what that'll do is that'll sit under the burlap and all of your, um, your so hang on, your subterranean bugs and whatnot will work under there and that will all just uh, compost with the last year's layer of burlap and just become brand new nice soil underneath there. So here we here we see again same story about a about a foot apart and then um, some of them were were closer than others this little uh, this little bed here is smaller than most of the ones that I have, um, but they're you know they're still in a good spacing apart. And again, just give them a give them a pat down. So that's that's the method for planting. It's just going to have to be repeated dozens of times again until I get through all these seedlings. The, there's really not a lot to it. Plants aren't horribly picky as long as you get them in some shiny spot. Make sure the soil stays nourished. They're uh, they're gonna do what they do.